Hey all you planner people and friends, thanks for joining me with another video. This is Planet Joe. I am back with another video to show you guys my minimal setup in my medium Campania XL from Gilio. Uh, this setup is more of a um, neutral or um, minimal style um, setup than, than my more decorative setups that I use for Coco Daisy. I did do a flip of this the other day, but um, some folks had asked me questions and things like that, so I thought maybe um, you guys may want to just a few more details on this setup um, and things like that, uh, in case you were wondering about that too. Um, like I said, this is a medium XL Campania and gray matte Croco from Gilio. It is stunning leather. If you have a chance to grab one, you should. Um, and then I have put in here um, Franklin Covey sized cloth and paper inserts. Uh, they don't sell them, but um, I have made them using a size that they do sell in their shop, and I will explain that when we get there. This is an Ollie clip in the Snow Leopard. I really love the Snow Leopard. I actually like the regular Leopard too, but I love the Snow Leopard with this setup. Okay, this thing does not close because she be chunky, but um, over here I just have some cloth and paper um, cards that I have in here and a cloth and paper journaling card with some sticky notes. Here I have um, a pocket card holder with some pocket cards from, or these little cards are from the planner spot. Most everything in here you guys are probably going to know because you are probably using it or everyone you know is using the same stuff for the same kind of planner setup but uh, I like it too so if you if I skip over something and you don't and you want to know where it's from please do leave a comment down below and I'll try to get it this is cloth and paper I love this layering effect of this one this is some acetate that I had in my stash. It is from a shop that is no longer open um, for good reason. And so I'm not even going to mention the name. Here's the planner spot layered over. Oh my gosh, having some trouble. The planner spot layered over cloth and paper. I love these two together, the vellum and the dashboard. Love it. Okay, so these I made myself. I'm going to be making some different ones, um, but these I made myself. Uh, these are what I call a um, dashboard cover, uh, for the lack of a better term. But anyway, um, I just bought some uh, font from the Silhouette store, made them in Silhouette Design Studio, and then cut them out using the machine, the Silhouette machine. And I think I love the way they look. I love this whimsical script here. Here I have some acetate from Cat Espresso Co. I love this thick acetate. It is so yummy, you guys. Um, it's it's durable and it's not going anywhere for a while. Okay, these are my tabs, my tab dividers, and I made them myself. Um, a friend of mine, Melanie Lim, she made uh, the file for me in Silhouette Design Studio, but I had I cut them out using some special vellum that I had purchased. Um, and then I laminated them with five milliliter, lam five mil laminating sheets. We have the planner spot. And then we get to, this is a yearly overview. I believe this comes in the, uh, one of the um, insert packs from cloth and paper, but I believe it's the um, vertical dated weekly. This is where I can tell you with cloth and paper, the best way that I did it is I ordered mini HP size unpunched. The only way that this will work, the only way that you can get a good clean cut and balanced cut for Franklin Covey size or compact size rings, which is 4.25, is if you get the mini happy planner unpunched. Now, I do believe you could probably do it with personal wide, also unpunched, but my success came with Mini Happy Planner. And I tried punching, I tried doing it with personal wide. It turned out disastrous. It was going to cut in 
way too far into the insert um, the, and so I just didn't do it but um, also with the personal wide I had them punched it came punched um, and so I'm wondering if unpunched personal wide you could actually cut them down easier um, to a Franklin Kobe something to think about um, for this next year for 2021 I did order both mini happy planner and personal wide unpunched to see which of them would be easier um, and maybe I'll do a video over that inbox from cloth and paper some sticky notes here is just some inbox this is an inbox um, insert from um, SM plans I am a PR person for SM plans love Sierra's um, inserts this is actually a freebie um, in her Facebook group. If you haven't joined her Facebook group, I would encourage you to do so. She has quite a bit of um, freebies and also uh, she advertises sales for the Facebook group. And you won't have the coupon code unless you have, uh, unless you're a member of the Facebook group. Um, if you want to save some money on her regular inserts in her shop, uh, it's Joe20 will save you 20% on $5 or more. And it will be linked down below that way. <laughs> Here's another divider cover with this great acetate from Cat Espresso Co. Love this window pane. Another divider. This is my listing section. Cloth and paper. The planner spot, cloth and paper, and then I'm going to, oh, this is my Julia wish list. You guys can see this. This is just some listings. Um, I'm going to cover most of this up because it's kind of private, some of it, but um, these are just some various listings. This is from SM Plans. These are from SM Plans. Um, this is from cloth and paper here and all of these inserts that you see with cloth and paper have been cut down from many happy planner that has been unpunched. Okay. These I wanted to talk about because these are new to Sierra's, um, shop and they're wonderful. These actually come in Franklin Covey. Um, the other ones, the inbox, I failed to mention, but, um, they're freebies in her Facebook group, but they're not in the Franklin Covey compact size. I used half letter and sized it down to 78% and cut accordingly. She didn't make Franklin Covey size at the time she made those freebies, um, but she does now. Um, thank goodness, I love that about her. She considered it and she put them in her shop and um, now she has Franklin Covey size and these are in that group. This is also her grocery list. I love this particular list. This one, she, ha she has it to where it's a bundle and you have a lot of these listing part of it and then you also have a different kind of list. I think it's categorized, um, but for me, the reason I like this, because most of the time when I do my grocery list, I, I try to do it with a sticky note. Um, and so this kind of, this isn't like my list that I will go to the store and get all of this stuff, but it's a good reference um, because I don't know about you guys, but every single time that I go to try and make out a grocery list, it's like, what am I doing with my life? I don't even know what we need. Um, and my mind just goes blank every single time. Um, and so, and I've gotten pretty good and my husband has gotten pretty good about going and putting stuff on, we have a list, um, on the fridge and we will put whatever we need down there as well. But, um, yeah, so this right here gives me another reference to kind of take a look at and see if I may have missed something or, you know, get an idea or two. Here, just another list papers. Okay, this section, uh, I love the layering of this. Oh my gosh. More acetate from Cat Espresso Co. So this is my personal section. I won't be able to show you much of it because it's private. Um, but I did, again, I made some acetate uh, using digitals from a shop that's no longer open um, and for good reason. This is cloth and paper, the planner spot, this window pane um, vellum here that I've printed on some very thick vellum is from Lix. Uh, she is L-I-X-X. -X. She is on Instagram. Um, it's a freebie from her Instagram. 
we have cloth and paper. And then we get into my personal section, which is, um, I can't really show you a lot, but it's got my bills, my online um, order stuff, and then also uh, it has um, some medical information and stuff like that. So nobody wants to see my bills, but I will show you that this is the bill, what it looks like traditionally. Um, it's very clean, minimal from Sierra's um, shop and I love it. Here we have my schedule. Then we have um, some more acetate from Cat Espresso Co. I really enjoyed this floral. I didn't think I would because I thought it would look too busy, but truthfully it looks so good over just about anything. Then we have the divider here. Let's see if we, if we can, and make sure you guys are still in focus. Sorry about that. We have cloth and paper. Then we have more cloth and paper. I really enjoyed layering these two. Um, I don't know why, I just love the look of it. The 2020. This, be this begins my um, schedule section. This is gonna have my monthly, weekly, and daily. And I have those uh, separated with top tabs from cloth and paper. Now, what I did here with these top tabs is I have purchased um, personal wide and they're punched because they don't come any other way. And I have cut them down. Um, you'll see this first one. I cut it down on this side, but every other tab I've cut it from the ring side. If you get them, if you're a compact ring size planner and you love it, just put it down in the comments below and I, or DM me on Instagram at Planet Joe and I will try to help you as much as I can because it could get complicated. But really on the first one, I just cut it from the right side. On every other tab, I cut it from the left and, and it worked out good. Um, cloth and paper has four top tabs. Um, I really just needed three, but I went ahead and put this section in here because who doesn't love more deco? The planner spot, cloth and paper, cloth and paper, cloth and paper, and then this is just my yearly overview that cloth and paper had this year. And I just put it in here. This gives me my holidays. I love having that up front at my um, schedule. I've got, I'm behind on marking things out, but, and then this begins my monthly. I do have another yearly overview. I'm not sure how many of these a person needs, but I do love to have them. <laughs> and then we have uh, the planner spot um, card and vellum. I have um, cloth and paper sticky notes. And then this is just, um, I think everybody has seen these um, monthlies here. I love them. And then the next section is my weekly. This is um, acetate. I actually think I did um, on this acetate or this vellum, excuse me, I had to order um, personal wide and I cut it down. Then we have more acetate from the shop that is no longer available. And then this is the vertical weeklies that pretty much I would think everybody knows. Um, right here. I'm going to show you August because um, July is pretty filled up and I don't want to show everything but um, and then I have my today marker from cloth and paper as well and I've actually slid it so that it will pull out pretty quick you know um, and I can put it wherever I need it. She's changed this up a little bit um, for the 2000 or 2021 um, and I'm not sure I I really love this, um, and I love the bold here, and then this is bold, but in the 2021, one of the bigger differences that I've noticed is this is more subtle um, than it used to be, and this is a little bit changed over here. It's a little more subtle as well. It doesn't pop out of the paper like it does here. Here's my last section, which is my dailies. I do have, um, this is cloth and paper cloth and paper, the planner spot, cloth and paper, and I do have um, 
dailies, undated dailies that I use from cloth and paper, but I've actually been really enjoying, um, I don't use dailies that often anymore, especially, you know, um, in 2020 where all, our, all of our lives look vastly different than they did. Um, but I don't use dailies that often, but when I do, I actually enjoy a grid. Um, just plain blank daily and I get to write what I want, where I want. Um, and these are from SM Plans as well. And then we have my, this next section is social. It's actually gonna change. Um, I'm changing this section and I wanted to do this film and I may do an update eventually when I get it done, but um, this is gonna change. I've got two new puppies. They are Airedale Terriers and they are terrors, the Terriers are. And so, but anyway, I wanted to make this section for my, my doggies. Um, I finally get to be a dog parent and so I'm gonna make this my dog section. Cloth and paper. This is actually, they sold out of it too, but what I did is I cut down half letter. Um, I cut it down to Franklin Covey. And I did the same thing here. This is the planner spot layered over cloth and paper. Cloth and paper. My notes section, here's some more of that gorgeous acetate from Cat Espresso Co. Divider, cloth and paper, cloth and paper. And then we finish it out with, you know, sticky notes from cloth and paper and the notes. These are notes that are um, half letter. And I, again, I cut them down. They look so bold and graphic that um, I just didn't think it would be bad if if I cut them down from half letter and I love 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 the way they look I'm not even sure if they have these in the store anymore if they do you should run and get some because I love them I'm, I don't even use them what I do is stick sticky notes over them because I love them so much I don't even want to use it to, for fear of running out cloth and paper this is one of my first journaling cards and um, that I used and made um, this is probably from my very first order from Cloth and Paper that started it all. <laughs> and then here is a, this is a personal size, um, oh dear, a personal size Cloth and Paper. Um, it's a paper folder and I just have it stuck back there for things I need to put in it. These are Cloth and Paper um, cards that I've actually had to cut down a little bit so they'll stick in here, but I use them just mainly for uh, for looks, really. And then um, this is a little, I think everybody has seen this, make it work, a Tim Gunn, uh, but I put here some page flags that I like to use quite a bit, um, the colors that I like to use, and then I have some sticky notes also. This pen is from Cloth and Paper. I love it, um, but I just ordered um, a, some new pens uh, from Cloth and Paper and I can't wait till they get here because I think they're gonna be my new favorite and I will show you when I get them. This is my Tombow that I use as the 800. I like it for this setup. And then back here, I think I don't keep very much. I just keep some stamps. Uh, my little guy loves Hot Wheels, so I got Hot Wheels stamps. I did keep some, um, this is a folder from Foxy Fix plastic folder I cut down and I have some minimal stickers in there. And that's about it. So that is my current flip through um, so far. The only thing that's gonna change here pretty quickly is the social is gonna change into my doggy section and that'll be about it. Um, I really appreciate you guys uh, tuning in and coming to my channel today to see this flip and I hope you loved it. If you have any questions, please do leave comments down below and I'll try to get to them as soon as possible. Other than that, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.